Minus Antarctica and Greenland, savannas make up about 14% of the total land area worldwide and nearly 50% of the surface of the continent of Africa. Found just above and below the equator in Africa, Australia, and South America, savannas serve as transitional zones between deserts and rainforests. Their proximity to the equator dictates the weather and explains why there are fairly warm temperatures year-round, normally between 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. While temperatures don't vary too much on the savanna, the amount of rain definitely does. Seasons here are distinguished by the accumulation of rainfall. There is a wet season and a dry season. The wet season during the summer sees an average of 15 to 25 inches of rain in just six months. On the other hand, the dry season during the winter only gets about four inches of rain in the same amount of time. The long stretches of time where there is little to no water available has led to many plant adaptations. Grasses have long tap roots that extend to where there is groundwater, and trees have developed fire-resistant bark in an attempt to survive frequent fires. These fires are mostly started by lightning strikes during the months with less rain and are fueled by dry grasses. Another effect of the imbalance of the rainfall is the soil quality. The soil is porous, which allows water to drain quickly and only contains a thin layer of nutrients. Animal life is very diverse in the savanna. Like plants, many animals have achieved adaptations such as long limbs to help them reach food. Big predators like lions are common here, but don't necessarily compete directly with one another because of how many options they have. Grass-eating animals also don't have as much competition as you would think. Certain grass tastes bad to certain animals, and not to others. This means that the grass is sure to get eaten, which is good for the grass, but also that almost everything has something to eat, which is good for the animals. Overall, the savanna is an expansive biome that is home to so many incredible creatures. It bridges the gap between hot and cold, dry and wet, and in turn creates a diverse ecosystem just teeming with life. <laughs>